all right so after we've been doing some legendaries here and there we obviously had roles for the legendary group so i thought i would go through not the dps build because i already did that you can check that in the pinned comment but the tank build that the tank player been using so the tank build that our tank player been using is something like this so four piece uh, true patriot with two named items one being a point man which is perfect vanguard which is crucial for being a tank and it's also a guard to so give you five percent total armor then the rk holster forge which gives you 15 percent incoming repairs but the important thing being shield health as well and yeah i accidentally re recalibrated this when <laughs> i was super tired so i kind of missed the skill tier because yeah it doesn't have a bar so i kind of missed it so you want to have armor there instead of skill tier when it comes to the named items i forgot to say that so rk holster can't drop in dark zone even if it's target loot there so you have to get that in light zone point man you can get both in dark zone and light zone so if you want to farm those just do rk target loot for the holster in light zone and do hilla guard anywhere on the map would probably prefer if, if it's Hilla or Chest in Dark Zone, then go and farm it in Dark Zone. I would probably recommend that. So let's take a look why 4-piece True Patriot is good. Like ammo capacity and magazine size is not a big deal when you are supporting or tanking, right? But the 4-piece is where it shines. So red, white, and blue. Every 2 seconds, enemies you shoot receive a stacking debuff of red, white, and blue. If we take a look at the character, you can see on the character right now, it's swapping between white right now blue and then red so that's how you see it so red amplifies the enemy's damage taken by eight percent which means you do eight percent more multiplicative damage on the targets that are marked with red when you get a white tar when you target them with the white flag you will repair your armor and your allies armor as well five percent once every second so pretty strong there and we have blue that decrease the enemy damage dealt by eight percent I did hear that I think the white one is bugged. I'm not completely sure though, but I think that's the case. So when that gets fixed, it's gonna be stronger. But even the other twos are really good. And a full flag, enemies that die while under the effect of all three debuffs create a 5 meters explosion, dealing damage equal to their total health and armor. So that's basically true patriot. So we can check through the items quick. I feel like I forgot something that I just wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, yeah. So the chest piece, I would uh, recommend Vanguard. So so yeah, with, with the chest Vanguard here, you deploy the shield and it will, and the shield will be immortal for five seconds, and it will grant fifty percent of your armor as bonus armor to your allies for twenty seconds. I will have this shown in the clip later, but basically you just equip the shield, bam, and they get the, the armor, and you can see. And you can see below the actual ammo, the buff and the debuff. And then when the debuff goes up again, basically you have the shield up like this. You fight, you tank, try to mark as many people as possible, right? And then now the cooldown is gone. You take it away and put it, put it on again. Bam, you buff your team. You basically do, like, do it like that all the time. There is like exotic chest piece that you can use though which is this one which uh, gives you armor to the ally when they break their when, when their armor gets breaked but it's 45 second cooldown compared to 20 seconds right is it 20 25 so this is just gonna have way more uptime hence why i would recommend that one so yeah starting with the gear here you want to max armor roll everywhere as a main attribute of course because this is a tank build for a group for doing like heroics or even legendaries so it's crucial to have max armor everywhere then you want to make sure you get hazard protection and explosive resistance and then when it comes to mod slots you want to put in protection from elites there's also the exotic knee pad sawyers let's see if i can get <laughs> get them here okay so okay we got a link there so, so something that could also be worth noting is that it could be worth to get in the sawyer knee pads here this is not sawyer knee pads there we go 
cannot be staggered by explosions in a lot of uh, especially the legendaries we played there's a lot of drones so not being staggered by explosions is definitely strong and then you also have if you stay in cover without firing for 6 to 12 seconds you get damage immunity but that's not the important thing just not being staggered it's pretty big as a tank so you could try to make that into the build as well then of course you would have to swap out the, the holster because the true patriot chest piece talent is not that important it takes the the flag from two second swap to 1.5 so you would have to swap the holster down uh looking through we can check the chest piece and everything kick quicker you want to have armor, you want to have explosive resistance and hazard protection. And protection from elite mod. That's the key for everything here. As I said, I accidentally recalibrated hazard protection here. So you want to make sure you have armor here. As a, You want to make sure you have armor here. And then hazard or explosive. Same on this one. Same here. I should get more explosive resistance though. And you don't want to have health like health is not worth it at all explosive or hazard resistance because you have 1.6 million armor you should have even more and then 290k health and you're gonna have most likely a healer as well so there's no reason to put anything into health and i mean the health is so little as well so get explosive race or hazard and then when it comes to weapon there is the lullaby or sweet dreams which is pretty good to have as, as a tank since you're tanky, you can go up close. And Sandman, you basically instantly kill non-elite enemies when you melee with a 15 second cooldown. So let me just swap here. When you swap to it, you see the sleeping below the ammo. That's the, the time you have to bash somebody. You bash somebody and you have to wait for cooldown. So you can do that to red or purples. It doesn't work on elite. But if you play heroic or especially legendary, just being able to do that with two purples are pretty damn good. They are using the grudge with the, this talent, just so you can get crit chance and crit damage for your team. And yeah, you just mod a crit chance here. Doesn't really matter with a point around mag. Then when it comes to specialization, you want to play firewall, because then you get this striker shield, which is a modified version of yeah crusader shield. And this one provides a buff to the user and the allies behind the shield, which boosts the damage based up on the amount of enemies in front of the shield, as you can see on the tooltip. So make sure you run that, and yeah. Then there's also the Firewall Tactical Link. Allies deals 10% damage to enemies that are within 10 meters of you. And on Armor Break, you apply Burn. Not that your armor is gonna break that often though, but it could still be pretty decent. That's the spec you wanna run. And when it comes to the shield, we're running the striker shield, right? As I just said, we have shield health mod. Get more health for the shield. And active region as well. And then the damage bonus per enemy. So 2% more damage per enemy. They're close. We can use the elite skin version, I guess. I don't know, it looks kind of weird, but we use that. So we are at tier 6 and I guess so we are at tier 6 and we are at tier 6 here with 60 active regen and 50 shield health for the holster region and 2 buff strength. So pretty good. In terms of your second skill though there's multiple options depending on what you're doing. Sometimes you maybe want to use a decoy, sometimes you want to use a revive hive. Maybe even use a jammer pulse, depending on what you do. Maybe for robot dogs, right? Maybe even a normal pulse. There's a lot of options for the second skill, I would say. So just use whatever fits your group's playstyle and what you are playing, and yeah, will be will be fine. And I haven't personally played that much tank at all. I just have it ready for when I want to play it. But I've seen a lot of people ask, like, what is the tank builds build? So I thought I would cover that since I have the build myself. Or at least pretty similar. Mine is not perfect yet, but it will be soon. So I have that one and the DPS build. And then I probably then I probably make another build for the healer type of setup we have when we do legendaries. So you will ha have all that covered. And I should have a video as well covering legendary with some tips and tricks that I think is going to help you guys a lot to progress through legendary. 
But uh, yeah, I will leave you with some gameplay with the shield so you can see how it is. And yeah, that's like literally first time I played shield in this patch. But anyway, you can see a little bit how it's working. But thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. to play tank how aggressive I can go especially now without a healer I guess I can't be aggressive really, really I mean, without a healer yeah it's gonna pop the shield sometimes here and there just can't let the shield die try to maybe we'll figure it out Don't worry about it. It's the arm. Dude. How long do they keep the flag off? Flag though, when I get it on them. 20, 30 seconds. Yeah, just gonna reach them a few times, then we keep them. Watch out. Roll. Minigun power Not restored. Yeah. I didn't know it was one. Easy class. Holy shit. Hey, you guys need to kill the bad boys. Yep, chill, man. Yeah, no. Nice. Hey, on dog. Hey, dummy. Shit. Minigun I just want to put on a Does it swap every two seconds with the flag or how does it actually work? Yeah. I'm just trying to shoot everything. Yeah, just wanna keep back and shit. Thank you. 
Cool man, you see, it was everything that was needed was me to play tank, dude. Yeah. Dude, it's so awkward being with shield. I haven't checked it. So awkward to be in the shield, dude. <laughs> Especially with a tank. Yeah. yeah. Name Magno Edo. No, he's not. Surprise if not. Not in. Not when I did. Not ADS. No. That was a pretty shitty roll, I guess. Anyone need max crit chance mask? No. Uh, where can you? Where, I think where I can I you take it. What the fuck? No, I'm scared. If I don't do that, I'll drop it over here. Yeah, gameplay of him. Could have been worse. What's all that? That's okay. Uh, does somebody need the crit chance mask? Otherwise, I need the crit damage. Let me, let me check. Got a name mine. too, dude. What the fuck? No, I don't need it. You can take my torture. Where oh. is mine? Did someone delete mine? Ah, oh, here it is. Uh, it's uh. If nobody okay. needs the mask, I need it for all. No, 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 I don't need. You can take. It. Like zero point one percent more crit dude, damage now. Dude, that is pretty now. good. Holy shit! If that had a uh, offensive mod slot, what the fuck? I would have played it. Yeah, yours is barely better than mine. Nice. Ooh. The bullet. Right, can I can I eat now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Find you get lady death again. Gonna go. Yeah. And, and Poor Twitch lady food.